What deal did the Pleiadians make to stop being eaten? Can nine ether beings use their energy for spiritual healing? What are names of gods for nine ether beings to pray to? Well, yes, yeah, so um, the Pleiadians basically made a deal to say that we will create you a, an alternative food source. This is how the Adamites were grafted and made. So that was the deal. Like It's like, imagine now everybody eats what they think is chicken. Because everywhere you go, is, they say it's chicken, chicken, chicken. Um, and most of the meat that you're eating, which doesn't have a bone or you didn't see it, could be any type of meat on the planet. Could be human meat, could be anything and you don't know. So once it's um, minced up, coloured, put into a burger, you eat it and then you just say everything tastes like chicken. That, that relates to the Matrix movie as well because there was a, a clip where the guy was eating a steak and he said, although I know this is not steak, you know, ignorance is bliss. And this is what they bank on, right? So, yeah, you've got you to be very careful of what you're eating. So the Pleiadians, they asked the Draconians to say, look, we can give you a food source so that you can stop eating us or leave us alone, all right? The second part was um, nine ether beings. Yes, we do. We can use our, our, our energy to heal. We can heal anybody from anywhere in any part of the world. You just have to know that it's about frequency, yeah? You just have to match that frequency. This is why people can pray for you. Um, and they say it's religion, but it's not. It's about that energy, collective minds. It's called mind-linked. Um, where we have a master secret that actually goes into that. And once you're connected on, a, on a, the same resonance frequency, you're connected with any other person on that same resonance frequency. And together you can channel that energy anywhere in the universe and you can heal. Yes, so that's true. Um, and the names, that's important. This is why Wu Sabat is a culture that has a language because the tones that you, you use in the words break the spell of the spellings of, you know, the, the, like the English. So yes, you need to know who to call on and this is our Parnatharu. Again, when you're on the inside, when you're connected with us, when you come to the classes, you will get the chance and you know what, um, what names to call on. Right, that's, that's our ancestors, there are many of them. There's a chart we have that we go through and list all their names. Um, 